doing? This is the Cold Steel Black Bear Bowie. Uh, I didn't even know what this was when I ordered it. I ordered it for like $38 uh, from Cleaver Firearms uh, in Australia. Uh, this retails on Cold Steel's site for about 35 bucks, so you're probably going to be able to get this for 20 bucks. Um, so what is it? I figured it out. It's like a knife slash machete hybrid, like a machete that looks heaps like a knife from the side. But then when you turn it around and look at the blade thickness of 2.8 millimeters, it's pretty much a machete when you make something this big. Yeah, sure, when you make a Mora at 2.8 millimeters with a short blade, still a knife. But I think once you get something this large with a blade length of like oh, 10, 11 inches, 12 inches it is, um, then it becomes definitely a machete. So this thing is made of uh, Cold Steel's uh, staple steel 1055 carbon. It's got a black baked on finish. Uh, it's uh, pretty crude, I must say, but it's cheap. It's cheap and crude, and I guess it's like basically pretty effective for what it's trying to be. So it's a heavy machete. So what do you use heavy machetes for? Well, is it a heavy machete? I'm not sure. It's not too thick, so maybe it's not. I don't know. <laughs> it's a big knife machete thing. So what's it for? It's for, I guess, cutting stuff in half that's going to probably offer not a great deal of resistance. So like maybe your wet stuff, your fleshy stuff. Maybe like for trimming back your garden bushes or clearing paths or whatnot. Um, it kind of befuddles me to be honest. It's kind of like they just made it because they thought, hey, let's make something that looks like that. I think there's much better things to do um, the clearing and there's much better things to do like the heavy chopping. It's kind of like a weird halfway point. I don't know. So it's got a really um, thin stabby tip. It's like a Bowie clip tip. So you see even it's got a, the swedge there is actually quite sharp. So I guess it'd be good for like, I don't know, stabbing something, but then it's quite thin. So you wouldn't want to be stabbing something with too thick a hide or stabbing into a bone. Uh, so there's that. Uh, and then, you know, it's got a long, um, you know, long, pretty reasonably sharp primary edge. Um, but then again, when it's paired with a rather thin spine, it's not really going to be that great at, you know, chopping through, you know, hardwood or anything like that. So yeah, probably going to be more of like the trail clearing type thing. Um, the handle is, it's full tang, and it's got a over-molded, sort of super hard polypropylene type uh, handle, uh, which also goes over what is apparently a steel guard under that plastic guard too. So it should be pretty well constructed. The plastic is really, really hard, and when you go again and make those sort of impact cuts, say when I cut this pumpkin in half, uh, the impact against the, the wood underneath it is really, really um, going through my hands quite a bit. Like... Fair, fair amount of shock there, so it's hard, quite probably indestructible polypropylene, but it's not the best for impact tasks. Again, steering me away from perhaps using this as a sort of impact task, sort of heavy knife slash heavy machete thing. So yeah, it kind of defies what I would sort of categorize, um, you know, different knives. I, I don't quite know. Let's look at it for um, comparison to say a Australian Army Golok machete. This is a big, heavy sort of uh, clearing or sort of light chopping tool. Um, this is just made out of a spring steel, I believe. Uh, this is a little bit thicker, a little bit heavier, and definitely feels a lot more substantial. The tip is much more practical. Um, it's strong. It's not going to bend and um, you know, distort as a delicate bowie tip would on quite a he heavy, thin you know, blade such as the cold steel. Uh, let's look at it against the A1. So the A1 is like um, you know, a heavy survival knife that has a much, much thicker spine. I'd say about three times thicker than the little cold steel almost. Um, you know, maybe twice twice as thick, two and a half times as thick. Very, very thick compared to the cold steel. And uh, then just put a mora down there as well, which, you know, is more of a standard belt knife, four-inch blade type thing. So, yeah, it's a, um, it's a pretty... It's a pretty odd thing, to be honest. It's really cheap. It's a big, sharp piece of steel, I guess. It's a thin piece of steel, um, and it's not terrible. It just doesn't quite make sense to me at all. What would you think you would use this for? Um, do you have one of these? I'm curious to know. Um, Cold Steel's website, if I look that up, it sort of um, uh, it says, uh, continuing our groundbreaking tradition for creating unusual and eye-catching tactical machetes. There you go. It's a tactical machete. Uh, devised a bold new blade for 2017, the Black Bear Bowie. Um, yeah, it's fast and lively in the hand. Wide enough to chop through small vines and saplings. Yeah, I guess it could. Uh, clear brush and perform admirably in many survival or bushcraft duties. I don't know about that. Um, 
truly epic Bowie knife, but at an affordable price, then you'd be hard pressed to find something better than the Cold Steel Black Bear Bowie. So they've called it both a Bowie knife and a tactical machete. So I don't know. I don't quite know what this is, and I'm not really too sure if I like it. But there you go. <laughs> um, ingredients wise, it's fine for the price. Design wise, I don't get it. And there you go. That's my review. I don't get it. I'm sorry. <laughs> I really couldn't do much better for you just yet. Look, I'll continue to carry this thing around. It's just, it's hard to even do that because it doesn't even come with a sheath. It came with like a cardboard sleeve and you know, wrapped in bubble wrap. So they're just going ultra low budget. It's made in South Africa. Um, so yeah, it, it's a funny one. It's a funny one. <laughs> Worst review ever, I know. I'm sorry. But I got this and I was like, I thought it was going to be a bit thicker. Like a bit like maybe GI Tanto-ish, kind of just cheap 1055 beater knife, but it's definitely not that. Uh, the tip on it's already sort of um, bent over a little bit just from like testing you. So I don't know. Not glowing on this one, I'm sorry to say, guys. But you know what? This might be just what you've been looking for. And if it is, then go for it. It's well made. It's just it doesn't make sense. So that's, that's my review. It's well made, but it doesn't make sense to me. All right, guys. <laughs> That'll do us. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you later.